The Kumar Sangakara Masterclass continues on day two, but Essex fight hard to stay in the game. It was an extraordinary first day at Chelmsford between the top two in Division 1 as Essex collapsed to 31 for 5 before Kumar Sangakara scored his fifth successive championship century for the county to lead a remarkable recovery. The Sri Lankan legend was 177 not out overnight and Surrey resumed on 334 for 7. When play got underway, Essex's bowlers still had no answer to Sangakara, but they did at least break his bat. The change of equipment didn't slow his progress, but he did lose his overnight partner. Mika caught behind off Porter one short of his half century to end a 110 run partnership. Now the mission for the tail was to stay with Sangakara until he reached his double century. Verdi couldn't manage it, bowled by Porter for five when his partner was 195 not out. But sure enough, he got to 200 off 319 balls with 27 fours. A truly majestic innings which began when his team were 9 for 2 and ended when he was the last man out caught by Wagner off Harmer for exactly 200, his highest score for Surrey. The total 369 all out, a superb fight back and their star man was well supported by Sam Curran and Mika. Hard work for Essex in the end, Porter the pick of the bowlers with 4 for 89. Cook and Brown made a steady start for the home side in their reply, interwoven with some decent shots, and they'd reached 58 without loss at lunch. But Surrey didn't have to wait long for a breakthrough when play resumed. Tom Curran claimed the important wicket of Alistair Cook, LBW for 36, and it was 61 for 1. New batsman Tom Wesley went on the attack, combining the occasional play and miss with a few boundaries. But his luck ran out when he was caught off the bowling of Sam Curran for 16. Essex still 282 runs behind at that stage, but Brown and new batsman Lawrence soon started to make inroads in that deficit. That added 39, and Brown had just reached his half century when he became the third wicket to fall, caught by Tom Curran off Stuart Meeker for 52. T arrived with Essex 127 for three, still 242 runs behind. They'd found scoring difficult against a highly disciplined Surrey attack. After tea, the host produced a solid response of their own, thanks to Dan Lawrence and Ravi Bapara. The pair had to be patient and rode their luck at times, but Lawrence reached his 50 and Surrey's lead was at least below 200. By the close, it was down to 154 runs after an 89-run partnership for the fourth wicket. Essex 215 for three overnight with Lawrence 78 not out. And with seven wickets in hand, they'll hope to wipe out that deficit on day three.